favorite boxer and wife? Uh, Shakur Stevenson. How Ladies and gentlemen, the voice, you already know, Little Dirt, arguably the top artist in the game came out. He was at an event and he was asked, who is his favorite boxer, you know, and why? He didn't give why, but um, he, he definitely elaborated on the fighter and potentially a big time fight that could be looming. What do you think? Uh, Him and Tank. Uh, both of our family, man. That's a good ass fight. I want to see that. You know, uh, in the balance, we're going to get all into it. When Lil Dirt was asked, he said his favorite boxer was Shakur Stevenson. You already know Brick City's very own. Shout out Jersey, Newark, New Jersey. You already know. Top rank. You already know they have a big time star, the Southpaw 5'7 with a 68 inch arm reach. You know, it's just a dominant figure in the 135 division and he's been sending shock waves ever since his inception into the division. At 130, he left a devastation trail, you know, blazing, you know, finishing off with the Conseco fight after he completely eviscerated Oscar Valdez. We're gonna get all into it. Make sure you subscribe for more boxing news updates and more, especially if you're rocking with Shakur Stevenson. If you're rocking with Dirk, we all know Lil Dirk, his presence in the sports world is just, you know, getting more and more. You see him doing events with NBA 2K. You see him think, got things going on with the Chicago Bears, the obviously courtside with the Bulls. Now he's politicking on boxing politics. It's, this is a wonderful day when we have, you know, the artists, you know, discussing with sports because we all know this you know the athletes want to be rappers and the rap and the rappers part of me want to be athletes so it's just a crazy situation and dynamic of things we all know that it's times where uh Shakur Stevenson and and uh has played Dirk songs coming to the ring uh things of that nature if I'm not mistaken I think he performed them to the ring I have to I have to look into it but clearly you know, all of the stars, they rock with Shakur Stevenson. They understand, you know, his star power. And they know that he is going to do nothing but great things in the division. You know, it's clear as day. After we'll be seeing what he did against Yashano, who uh, you better be, you better just be beware yourself for this guy because he's nothing to mess around with. Also, a question that the voice was asked was, who will win the fight between Shakur Stevenson, his favorite boxer, and Javante Tank Davis. If you've been living under a rock, Javante Tank Davis, 29 and 0, no losses, no draws, 27 wins, violently, by the way, a knockout. We all know he's just coming off of a big time, you know, just domination, you know, over King Ryan Garcia. He took him down in the seventh round with that liver shot. Garcia been... You know, just he had to switch up things, change, change uh, trainers, all kind of stuff. You see him with Derrick James now. <clears throat> the list goes on. He he took out Hector Louise. Um, he knocked out Roley. He's just been on a complete devastation trail. The last person who was able to hang in there with him was, you know, Isak Pitbull Cruz. And um, clearly people believe that this is going to, well, everybody that knows boxing knows this will be an unbelievable fight. And the winner, who knows? But it's going to be interesting to see how, you know, this division and where Shakur Stevenson, you know, has himself in it, you know, because he still has to have a fight yet that's worth of notable name. Um, the, the guy, Yushano, to be honest with you, that really... It wasn't a fight that people wanted to see. People want to see him up against Devin Haney. Obviously, Devin has moved on to something else. Um, Loma, you know, all of these are rumors. We haven't heard anything, even though you hear Loma talking about his unfinished business. So is he going to wait out for Haney? You know, especially after he lost, he may have reason to just hang in there and wait for the Haney fight instead of possibly fighting a guy like Tank, possibly fighting a guy like Shakur and losing. You know, so Shakur Stevenson is the biggest scare in the division because it's not worth fighting him. And um, what I was going to tell you is Lil Durk, he also, you know, 
but he doesn't box obviously at this level, but clearly you'll see him working out and doing things like that. He could definitely play basketball. We've seen him ball. Um, definitely one of the top, you know, artists that can play basketball. You have Quavo, obviously Dirk. We've seen him. Um, and speaking on Dirk, obviously he, he, him as an artist, you know, he's definitely elevating his game. He's doing. You know, songs with artists that's out of this world, Leisha Keys, the list goes on. He was at the All White um, Affair with Michael Rubin, with all the A-list celebrities, you know, are there. So clearly he's on another level, you know, right now than he was prior to when people may have just got aware of who Lil Durk was. You know, he's a cold superstar now, and it's, and it's not nobody could do about it. You know, Lil Durk is just just continuing to just push the the, the craft for forward. You know, whether his rhymes, his harmonies. You know, he's he, we just got a deluxe coming out. He just walked out. Uh, Jake Paul. We all know that's what I'm saying. He has a you know a, a a situation where the boxers gravitate to him. You know, we all know that all the athletes listening to Lil Durk before. You know, they're doing what they got to do, whether it's basketball, tennis, whatever, but especially boxing. You know, Lil Durk definitely, his kind of music would definitely get a boxer ready to, to do what they got to do. You know, because we all know you need that kind of music to get going. You know, a lot of people are going to say whatever they want to say about uh, artists' music and the things that it can impact and, and all that, you know, that is doing this and that. I, I always you know, try to give a, a different level of thought process and another side of the coin, you know, because we could easily say, yeah, there's people who listen to the music and they and it makes them do this, this, and this, but it's also a sector, section of people who listen to the music and they win world championships. They they get straight A's. They, they go, they go, um, just accomplish something great, you know, and not often we hear those stories, you know, when listening to the music, you know, we hear these, we hear these boxers, they come out to these songs and they, they accomplish their dreams, you know, they walk out as undisputed champions, you know, and I think that's something that we have to, you know, know as well. So before, you know, we judge people's music, we must judge, we must also view all sides of the coin you know, and figure out, you know, what's really going on out here. You know, it's not the music, you know, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Shakur Stevenson is one of the best boxers there is today in the world. Everybody knows it. Let's see if he can get an opportunity to prove it against some of the elite fighters there is in the game. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. Peace and love.